There's a hymn that Mother Moore would always hear me sing when we would have our services. And there would be the words, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, where shall I go? If you have to say that in this hymn, Father, can you help me? I stretch, I stretch my hand to thee. church 
and make the church go up in a shout. Amen. Amen. Mother was the only one. That was her song. And I remember her singing it so many times and we would greet each other after church and hug and, and talk. And, and her mother, Mother Young, and I was before the service, I just showed them a video that I had in my iPad of Mama Young and Mother Moore standing together. And I interviewed her just to have something on record. Not just pictures, but a video. And she was talking. And Mother Moore was talking. Mother Moore was a sweet lady. Yeah. Yeah. Mother Moore was one of the greatest women you could find. Amen. Amen. She was somebody special to me. Mother Moore was a humble woman. One of the sweetest ladies I had ever met. You couldn't find a sweeter lady. She was sweeter as the delicates are in the delicatessen. Sweet. Had a sweet attitude. Never had a word of arguing or no type of confusion. And I could always talk to her. She would talk to me. I called her many times. I visited her even before she passed and after her health started to decline. I would still call and talk. And thank God for her husband. He never treated me no kind of way wrong. I always had his doors open for me to come by and check on his wife. Amen. That's what pastor's supposed to do, am I right? Amen. And he was so hospitable. And the last time I talked with him, he was very hospitable. Mother Moore wouldn't like some folks. She wouldn't die with them. She wouldn't take off when the preacher came. She wanted to talk to me. She would sit down on the sofa and I showed her that video probably a year ago and some pictures and all of that. But she was one that enjoyed me and I would take some money by just to give her a little donation, just to help her. And before I would leave, her husband would see me to the door and say, thank you, Rev. <laughs> and I appreciate that. Mother Moore was one that stayed clean. She never got in any kind of confusion. In the church all of these years, you couldn't find her in any confusion. She kept her spirit clean. Never gave me a problem in the church, not once. Out of all those years, not one issue. Nothing came up. You talking about a good member. She was a good member. Are you listening to me? Sometimes she would talk to me about issues and we would sit down and have a good time talking, but that was no problem at all. Sometimes things she was going through with, she would call me because her health wouldn't let her go to church sometimes. But one thing about Mother Moore, she always would check in. I didn't have to worry about where is Sister Moore. Mother would always call me. Mother was a supporter of the church. And she wasn't a rich lady, but Mother would always take a time. She would support the ministry. She would support the church with her financial gifts. She would always 
give me some love when it was the pastor's anniversary. She gave faithfully. She did an excellent job in supporting the ideal Church of God in Christ. And one thing I know, she loved her husband. She talked to me sometimes about things in the past and, and before she hooked up with our church, she would tell me things that she was going through. But when she came to the church, her burden got lifted. I was looking at Facebook on my Facebook page and a video came and I was looking at the video while I was preaching and Mother Moore, the camera went over to Mother Moore and I saw her just sitting there clapping her hands. And you know there's a little song that says, I'm in joy, Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, I'm in joy, Jesus, hallelujah. Well, I'm feeling mighty happy, feeling mighty glad. I'm in joy, Jesus, hallelujah. That was Mother Moore having a good time. Mother Moore was so courteous and kind to me. I remember when she would always take care of her mother. Mother Sarah Young, she got up in testimony service and she made a statement and said, Pastor, y'all remember during the Bush administration when President Bush was the President, the gas went up so high. And mother would go and get her mother. And Mother Young got up and testified and said, she said, Pastor, in a way of announcement to the church, she said, I'm not going to be able to come like I want to because gas is so high. But I'm going to come as much as possible. And after a while, when she finished, I told her, I said, well, if your mother will go and get you and bring you to church, I'll take care of you getting this. And mother would get up in the morning and drive to Terry, Mississippi. And she would go and pick her mother up because her mother loved me. Her mother used to say, I got some kind of pastor. <laughs> and one day, we decided to do something special for her mother. And I took my pastor's chair and set it out there in the house, in the floor in the middle, and told her mother to sit down, sit in my seat. And I said, I want everybody to come and give mother a gift. Mother loved me because she knew how I treated her mother, treated her with tender love and care. Mother Moore was a saved woman. She was a sanctified woman. She was the kind of woman that a pastor would have a good church if he had 10 members like her. Mother Moore was a woman that was filled with the Holy Ghost. Mother, Mother, Mother Moore would uh, be praising God and sitting on the front pew and sometimes the Holy Ghost would take over. Tears would be coming from her eyes and she would be caught up in the spirit. Mother loved her mother. And she was a jewel at the ideal church. You couldn't find a better saint. Are you with me? She loved the Lord. She loved her family. She loved her children. And she would say to me, pray for my children. Pray for them because I want them to come on in the church too. She was very concerned. But the time has come where this precious child of God has been called into eternal rest. She's in the fellowship with God. 
The Bible says in Psalms 116 and verse 15, it says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Yeah. Precious in the sight of the Lord. Yeah. And I think about mother. Mother was a saint. Mother wasn't evil. What is a saint? A saint is a person that has accepted Jesus Christ. A saint is a person who is holy and righteous. A saint is one that has been washed in the blood of the Lamb. A saint is one that lives a life where God is pleasing in that child. A saint is one that God can talk about. A saint is one that loves the word of God and applies the word to his or her life. A saint is one that is in right standing with God. I didn't say it perfect, but I said in right standing. A saint it's what God is calling for. And somebody wrote the song and said, when the saints go marching in. Lord, I want to be in the number when the saints go marching in. And as I look at the people today, I don't believe that we have a whole lot of saints. There are people that carry Bibles to churches and there are people that are in church religiously, but we're preaching the word to you because we're trying to get you converted over so you can be a saint. Yeah. There are those that go to church, and there are those that don't want to hear the truth. I don't have nothing but the Bible. I'm just a male man. Yeah. I didn't write it. I just preach it. It's just like when you're in school. When you take up math, you got a math book. When you take up physics, you got a book dealing with physics. And in that book, the teacher is supposed to teach you what's in the book. And the man of God is the one that teaches you what's in the book. Jesus said in St. John 17 and 19, for their sakes, I sanctify myself uh -huh. that they also might be sanctified. Yeah. A saint is one that has been set apart for the master. Yeah. A saint has made a determination that his body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Right. A saint has made up his mind that only the Lord can use my hands and use my mind and get the glory out of my body. And when I think about Mother Moore, in my opinion, from the life that she lived, she was a saint. And one thing I like about saints, saints don't die. Saints just go to sleep. You see, Lazarus was a saint. Jesus raised him from the dead, but before he raised him from the dead, he made a statement and said he just sleep. Sinners die, but saints go to sleep. And the reason why the Bible says sleep because folk that are asleep, they wake up. The Bible said that the soul that lives in sin, it shall die. But the saint don't live in sin, and the saint won't die. They just go to sleep, and the time will come when that saint will get up in the first resurrection. When Jesus died, he was buried. Three days later, he rose from the grave with a glorified body. Something happened that never happened before. Right after Jesus rose, right after his resurrection, the graveyards 
had interruption. The saints that were sleeping in the grave, they came out of the graves and they were walking in Jerusalem. The Lord got all the saints out of the grave. And he took them all to glory and when he comes back again, he's coming back with tens of thousands of saints. And I just believe that Mother Moore is in the number because the Bible says to be absent in the body, talking about the saints, is to be present with the Lord. And then I see another word in the text. It says precious. Help me say precious. Precious in the sight of the Lord, the death of a saint. So when I looked at that word precious, it has a great meaning. Precious means to be greatly loved or greatly treasured by someone. Precious, anything is, that's precious or any person that's precious has value. Right. They are very dear. They, they are beloved and they are adored. They are loved and they are very special. Anything or any person that's precious is esteemed. And this word is not for everyone because according to the text, it is used by the Lord for a certain kind of person. Precious in the sight of the Lord, the death of a saint. The Bible didn't say in the text that everybody is precious because there are some cruel and evil people in the land. Amen. Jeffrey Dahmer wasn't considered precious at the time of his death. Saddam Hussein killed millions of people. But when he died, if he didn't accept Jesus Christ, his death wasn't precious. Adolf Hitler killed so many Jews, innocent people, had them gas and poison and cooking, burning them. But he died. Death wasn't precious. Are you listening to me? The lady that took prayer out of the school, she died a horrible death, but when you don't die right, and when you don't die a saint, your death is not precious. These folk that are killing these babies, instead of protecting them and raising them up, if you die, and not hooked up with Jesus. The Lord can't say that your death is precious. So people that don't love the Lord, people that hate the word of God, I want you to know the time will come where all of us have to check out of here. All right, all right. But the question is, will your death be precious? I didn't say that the Lord don't love you because he loves you. Jesus loved everybody. And he proved his love by going to the cross and paying for all of our sins. And they wrote a song that said, yes, Jesus loves me. And all I'm saying is that what the Bible is saying, precious and valuable, special, in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. I want you to know that God cares about the suffering and death of his people. And there is not one saint that dies alone. A saint don't die all by himself because the Lord is always there with the saints. The Bible teaches us 
In the 23rd Psalm, it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because thou art with me. Yes, yes. And so when a saint dies, the Lord sends angels to escort the saint into his presence. And just as soon as a saint dies, the soul and spirit of the saint is in the care of the Lord and the angels. That sick body of the saint has to stay here because the saint cannot see Jesus in this earthly tabernacle. None of us were able to be to go to heaven and meet the Lord with this birthday suit on. Are you listening to me? And so when, when the time comes for us to go and meet the Lord, we got to check out of this body. And the time will come when we lay the body in the grave. The saint has a spirit body. And when the time comes, that body that died, it will be changed just like Jesus' body. It'll be changed into a glorified body. And the saint will have a new body that will never die. The saint will have a body that will never grow. Are you listening to me? The saint will have a body that will forever be with the Lord. And then the third thing that I see in the text that is very important is in a phrase and it says, in the sight of the Lord. Somebody shout in the sight of the Lord. So that means it don't make a difference what I think about it. It don't mean anything about what you say about it. Because God got the last say so. Uh, we got a righteous judge. And there's a lot of Margaret's in the land. But the judge know who this Margaret is. It's a good thing to be a good person. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the important thing is what does the Lord say about your life? Yeah. Right now, yeah. what I think is good, yeah. and I can speak for what I know of this woman. Yeah. It's not hard to eulogize a saint. Because the saint got a good record. Are y'all listening to me? And one thing I like about God, he's a fan of God. And so what counts now is not what you say. What counts now is not what I say. But what counts now concerning Mother Moore is in the sight of the Lord. I got great memories of this holy woman. But what counts is in the sight of the Lord. We serve a God that is everywhere at the same time. He never gets in a bed and takes a nap. Our God never slumber or sleep. He's all He's always looking, looking at whatever we do. No place is too dark for him, for him to see. And no light is too bright to brighten up his eyes to stop him from seeing. I want y'all to know he has an angelic being. My father used to say he got a secretary that's keeping records on all that are keeping the record of everything we do. And every time when somebody dies, look at it now, every person that dies, we say, rest in peace. We thank our 
ourselves up and say, rest in peace. We come for our own selves and say, rest in peace. But the Bible said, there is no peace, said the Lord, unto the wicked. Are y'all going to help me here? God is a holy God. And I don't care how many crooked folk out here. God is still saying, be holy. I don't care how many people that want to live the life. God is still saying, be holy. Come on and say that. If you die right, you'll live right and come on up right. Are y'all listening to me? You can't die in sin and wake up sin. You can't die a whole mama and come up sanctified. You can't die living an unholy life. And then in the judgment, God say you're holy. You got to get it right. Tell the other 
my dead and gone. gone. But you bless me to live right now. And for that, I say thank you. I want you to come into my life. Come on, say it. I want you to come in my life. Forgive me of everything that I've done wrong. And help me to do what's right. Create in me a clean heart. Renew. Sanctify me. Wash me. And help me to live for you. I accept you in my life. And I make you my Savior. Right now. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. And with my heart, by faith I believe. And from this day forward, I'm going to live for you the best I know how. Lead me. Guide me. And help me. In Jesus' name. And every heart should thank God. Amen. That's the prayer I pray. And from that day forward, I start doing all I could do. And if you pray that prayer, you can confess that I am saved with your mouth. Find you a Bible teaching and a Bible believing, Holy Ghost filled pastor in church and get in God's Word and let God wash you real good and take you to another level. Thank God for you. God bless you, Pastor, in the hands of the undertaker.